ADM CM is uh, exclusive uh, with Computer Music Magazine, and it's a really fun little uh, drum machine synth. It's got a built in kind of like uh, Roland TR606 sort of sounds, and it's also got includes a bunch of uh, like 250 computer music uh, samples, and it also has a bunch of different kits with different patterns for styles of music. And it's also got some fun tools like uh, a built-in effects section as well. It's a really good tool if you want to program beats in an intuitive way without resorting to use your DAWs grid editor. Um, but it also has a capability to be triggered uh, via MIDI as well if you, uh, you want to go down that route. In this tutorial we're just going to look at some of the features so you can kind of get to grips with it really quickly. First, you're going to want to run your door and add ADMCM to a MIDI track. Let's start by programming a beat from scratch using the uh, included uh, TR606 drum sounds. Before we can program a beat, we'll need to activate the uh, pattern write button uh, just above the step sequencer. The button lights up and we can start using the step sequencer. Um, by default, the accent channel is selected. Um, so instead, click the button at the bottom of the bass drum channel uh, and select that instead. So uh, yeah, so program in a bass drum pattern uh, to light up the steps like so. When you press play on the button at the bottom left hand corner of the interface, uh, you'll hear the kick drum pattern play back. Turn up the bass drum's decay knob to make it last a little bit longer. So while the pattern's still playing, let's uh, put in um, a snare drum pattern as well on the uh, SD channel. ADMCM's 606 kit includes kick, snare, open hat, closed hat, the cymbal and high and low tom sounds. So select the closed hat CH channel next and activate every eighth note. Next put high tom on the 4th, 16th and low toms on the 7th, 13th and 15th, 16th. It sounds okay but we can make it a bit funkier by activating the shuffle mode. Uh, which we can do by clicking the on button in the shuffle panel, panel above the step sequencer and uh, turn up the shuffle amount to 35. Now this moves the timing back on um, every other 16th a bit back slightly so it gives us a kind of like more human organic groove. Turn up the mangle knob in the FX panel to 33%. This distorts the sound a bit and gives it a nice warm overdriven quality. The effect is already a bit rough around the edges and turning it up further gives us an even more synthetic sound with an increasingly apparent pitch. Set the mangle knob up to 100% and then uh, turn down the decay of the high and low toms to like 760 milliseconds or so. This stops them interfering with the low kick so much it gives us a bit of a clear, clear sound despite the distortion. Now we've seen ADMCM's drum synthesis capabilities, let's take a look at what else it can do. Start by selecting one of the preset patches. Click the power button at the top right hand corner of the interface and select patch library Jazzy. You'll see that the headers at the top of each channel have changed from 606 to SPL. It stands for sample player and now ADMCM is playing back samples than rather than using its 606 synthesis capabilities. Now the, um, the cymbal sound is a little bit tight for that real sort of splashy jazz sound so uh, turn up the decay knob on the cymbal CY channel to 3.4 seconds. Nice. It is indeed possible to mix and match um, 606 and SPL sounds. Um, so for example hold down the left mouse button where it says SPL at the top of the CY channel and drag and um, a menu will appear and you can select the 606 sound. The sample sound will then be replaced with a synthetic 606 symbol. The instrument also includes a huge library of CM samples. For example, we can change the sound of the closed hat channel, um, just like the last step, and this time select the hat menu and 01 hat. As well as the large library of included sounds, you can use your own sounds by putting them in the ADM samples folder. When using a variety of drum sounds in a project context, it often helps to be able to process them separately. ADMCM features optional mono outputs for each of its channels. To use this, set up multiple outputs in your DAW. Um, you'll have to consult your DAW's documentation if you're not sure how to do this. And then right click the leftmost output jack on ADMCM's interface and select multi-out all individual. 
Note that the individual drum outputs are louder than the main output, so you may need to turn down the level of each of the individual channels. You can now process each drum sound individually. As well as the mangle effect that we looked at earlier, ADMCM also has a fun filter effect. This is before the main out, so let's revert back to using the main out. So uh, right click the output again and select no routing. Click the PCF button in the FX panel. Now it is important to remember that when the PCF button is active, using any of ADMCM's parameters will activate the plugin's built-in automation, which you really don't want to get into right now. Okay, so activate some of the steps on the step sequencer, then click the action button just to take us out of PCF edit mode to stop us inadvertently adding any uh, automation that we don't want to right now. Now flick the switch in the PCF panel from off to PCF and turn the cutoff knob all the way down. Now on playback you'll hear the filter sweep effect which you can control with the parameters in the PCF section. If you'd rather not use the built-in step sequencer, you can use your host's MIDI uh, sequencer instead to trigger drum sounds by setting uh, the mode toggle on the step sequencer parameters from pattern to note. In this mode, MIDI notes from B0 to D-sharp 2 will trigger the drum sounds instead.